I wanted to kind of give you a like kind of an overview of, of what we have looked at in the first book as we move into the second book. Um, we learned that addition and subtraction facts within 20 can be done different ways mentally. Um, one of the ways is basically you look at your two numbers and you take um, and you separate this out into tens and ones so that you now can put your ones together and it basically you're mentally turning that into 10 plus 8. You're taking the three, the ones out of the, away from the tens group and adding it to the other ones. Um, so that's just, that's one of the strategies and, and I know that it can get a little bit confusing because as we're doing it, it feels like you're learning the only way things can be done, but it's really like that tools in a toolbox kind of thing. Um, these are just like mental tools to use. Um, and the kids, if they can get used to this, then it makes mental math a lot easier in the future. All right, let's look at another strategy that the kids learned. Um, eight plus five. Um, if you look at two numbers, um, single digit numbers, Basically, you can look at the large number and see, okay, what needs to come out of this smaller number to make this one a 10? So a 5, you can break that down into a 2 and a 3. The 2 can combine with the 8 to form your 10. So mentally, you just go, okay, well, 2 from this 5 needs to go with the 8 to make 10, leaving 3, which gives you 13. Um, this stuff takes practice and um, it, it's kind of like this is in first grade they're just kind of learning uh, different ways to to put problems together um, another way all right 18 minus 5 for subtraction um, you can subtract ones from a 10 um, and ones when, basically when there's enough ones here, you can just subtract this, this uh, one digit ones from your um, ones group without even messing with your 10. So basically you're looking at this like it's a 10 and an 8. You're not, you're not even touching that 10. And you can just look at 8 minus 5 and know, well, it's 13. And now to subtract ones from a 10 and ones when there's not enough, um, so like 13 minus 8. All right, so you look at 13 minus 8. We can't do the trick we just did. You can't take 8 away from the ones. Um, so let's break this down into a 3 and a 10. Now this, this part can get a little, a little confusing until you learn, learn how to do it. Um, you're basically then taking the 10 and subtracting 8 away from the 10. So that's 2. Put it with your other ones. And it's 5. I know. Let me, let me try another example. 15 minus 7. Well, you can't take 7 away from the 1's group, so we take it away from the 10, which leaves us with 3. 3 and 5 is 8. So your kids aren't supposed to know how to do this all, but this is what, what we've been working on um, last semester with um, all of those number bonds and the different strategies and um, things that didn't seem to make sense uh, completely, but looking at the whole picture, it's just kind of like you've got a screwdriver, you've got a hammer, you've got a wrench, you've got all these different things, and when you see a math problem, you're able to pull one of those tools out and, and tackle it. So in our overview of this chapter, I'm going to just kind of tell you what we're going to be working on so that you can help at home if you choose to. Um, basically to add without renaming. Um, this is a strategy for, you know, we just take it and break it into a 30 and a 3. Um, all you have to do is add your 1s. The answer is 38. And this isn't stuff you do on paper. This is stuff you do in your head. Um, we're also going to be working on subtracting when you don't have to rename by doing that same number bond situation. 
Okay, and you can subtract 5 away from 8, which is 3, so your answer is going to be 33. Um, now, we are going to get into have, when you do have to rename, like 28 plus 5, you know, it's going to affect that tens group. So the way that, you're, that your child will be learning to do this, at least in class, is you break this one up into groups so that you can make this 8 a 10, just like we did um, for single digits, but then it carries over to the, um, to the 20 to make it a 30. So basically what happens here, 28 plus 5 has now become 30 plus your 3 that's left from that 5 being broken up. So your answer is going to be 33. It looks so much more confusing on paper. Um, 33 minus 8. We're also going to look at regrouping um, in this chapter um, for subtraction. So you've got 33 minus 8. And the, the mental strategy for doing this type problem is you take this 33 and you break it up into you've got a 3 and a 30 in there. Now you can't take the 8 from the 1s. I should flip this around, but 30 and 3. You can't take your 8 from your 1s, but you can take it from your 30. Okay. So what you're going to have here is 22 plus 3. Okay. And it's going to be 25. Basically, you're just looking. Can I take this away from my 1s? No, but I can take it away from my 10s. 30 minus 8. Well, it, you, you go back to that mental strategy of what's 10 minus 8? 2, so it's 22. But then you got to add your 1s, 25. Um, when w I will discuss with the kids that when you're only adding 1, 2, or 3 digits, like if I'm adding 26 plus 2, you don't have to do anything complicated. You can just do 6 plus 2, which is 8, to be 28, or you can just count up. Counting on and counting back are both strategies we also learned last semester. Um, and they actually needed to learn that, where you have to, you start on that number and count back or count up. A lot of times they would just want to start counting backwards without um, saying, you know, like, here's your number line. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they would want to start on three and add three more or subtract, let's say subtract two and they would go one, one, two. They count the number. So they would go three minus two. Well, one, two. And I had to go, oh, no, 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 no. Make your step. Each step is, um, uh, counts as a number in your problem. So anyway, just an overview as we start a chapter that can get confusing. Um, and now the video for the kids.